What is going on everyone? It is Fatal Reaper Day, bringing you another video on the HP Pavilion. This time we're recording on the phone once again, and today we're going to be talking about the best upgrades you can be doing. So I get a lot of questions on what are the best type of upgrades that you can to upgrade this um, laptop. There will be links down in the description all down below, so if you guys want to know, there'll be a little description for each one, and you can go check those out, check the prices out for that, and you know decide for yourself. So the first thing we're going to be talking about, and before we start guys, as always, be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Um, really helps me out really appreciate it and let's get into the video so in this video we're gonna be talking about again the upgrades so as this laptop comes uh, with a, G a GTX 1650 graphics card 15.6 inch display comes with 8 gigabyte of RAM um, and it comes with a 220 256 gigabyte SSD and an uh, i5 quad core processor um, that is a, a 9300x or 9300 excuse me First thing we're going to talk about is storage. So as many people know that um, 256 gigabytes of SSD is good, but it's not perfect. We, you know, most games, you know, most games are pretty big, like Modern Warfare and stuff like that. So you're going to need more storage. Personally, I recommend getting an external. That way, if you do wind up getting a PC later on it, you can easily just switch it. And the first, that's going to bring us to our first item, and that is the Toshiba 2 terabyte hard drive. And that will be a description, like I said, in the description down below. This is my personal one. So this is from personal experience. Again, completely opinion and a personal experience in this video that's why i'm saying i would recommend this one i've had this for two and a half years never had any issues it's really inexpensive it's only about 50 or 60 dollars and it really works well you literally just pop it in and bam there's your data uh or all of your save files etc and it is two terabytes again that's two whole terabytes that you have on there as an external literally just you know unplug it plug it back in um so that's one of the first ones. And again, that's going to be in the description down below. The next one I'm going to recommend, I do not have one, but it is an external SSD and it's a Samsung and it will be, it sh I believe it's a Samsung, should be in the, it will be in the description below. Uh, and I will po post that for you. That's some other research that I've done from other people that I know that have that one and have had very good luck with the, that one. And that one's an SSD, so it would be better than the regular hard drive. Next thing I'm going to recommend is a mouse. So most people don't really care for the mouse pads and everything like that you can see here. Um... I'm personally, I don't, doesn't mind, it doesn't matter to me because I use controller, but for personal experience from people who want to use mouses, I would recommend this right here, and there will be a link down in the description below as well for this, and this is the Razer Mamba, Mamba Wireless, and you can get the Razer Synapse app and change all the colors and everything with it, it's a really good gaming mouse, it's only about $60 as well, and it comes, it's also wireless, so it is wired or wireless, it will come with a wired and it will come with a little wireless USB port that you can plug up here and easily um, play with as well. And again, it changes all different colors with Razer Synapse. And that is a really good quality mouse that I've used myself personally and have also had for about two and a half years. So the next thing we're going to be talking about is RAM. So you can upgrade the RAM. It comes with 8 gigabytes to start off with, but you can upgrade it to 16 gigabytes. So the first, what I'm going to recommend you do is uh, have it in the link description down below once again. It's going to be an 8 gigabyte RAM stick for a laptop. For this laptop, I've done the research. It is and it does work with this laptop, the HP Pavilion. Um, I will be getting it myself actually here recently, and I will be showing you guys a video later on of how to correctly install it and how you know how much it changes and what it doesn't change and what it does change. So RAM usually just kind of RAM usually is pretty much it changes the like the kind of speed and capability a little bit so you're probably going to get more better with like multitasking you can multitask more on this laptop once you upgrade the ram so those are the main things that i've uh personally recommend you doing uh, i also recommend you could be getting you could get a uh, webcam if you want to too it does come with a pre-built webcam obviously but i would recommend getting a different one um for better quality and uh, razor keo is a good one if you guys and i have a video uh in my channel if you guys want to see that and see a look about that uh, but that's pretty much the gist of the video, guys, and that's just the best upgrade as far as hard drives. You can get external, external meaning inside, you can get external SSDs and hard drives that you can put inside the laptop if you guys don't want to go with the external and have it outside. I recommend the external because it's easier, um, and again, if you went to get a new PC or even if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation 4, you can still use that, and it's compatible with that. I used to use that on my old Xbox One. And that's actually where I had gotten my old one originally, and then I bought this one, used it for the Xbox One, now use it for my used it for my other PC, now use it for my main PC and my laptop. So guys, that's pretty much the video. 
Again, if you enjoy my videos and you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out. Again, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.